Hi guys, so in today's video, we're going to do a case study on one of the best-selling puzzle books on Amazon KDP. And then we're also going to reverse engineer all of your top-selling keywords, so you can take some inspiration from that to make your own puzzle books. All right, so diving right in, this is the puzzle book we'll be looking at. So here we can see that this puzzle book has a bestseller rank of 2,600, so they're doing really, really well. We can see here that the title is Variety Puzzle Book for Adults, so their main keyword is Puzzle Book for Adults. We can see they have 90 plus large print puzzles, so large print will also be a key for their success here. And then we can see they're targeting specifically word search, Sudoku, so word scramble, number search, trivia, and mazes. Then next up, we can see that they published this book back in 2021. So we can see if this book has been selling really well for over the last three years. They have over 2000 reviews. And then now looking at the description, we can see they have a short sentence up top and then a few bullet points. So I like the fact that they have bullet points. And as you probably already know, I always recommend people doing bullet points. And the reason that is, is because other regular Amazon FBA products, they all have bullet points. So if bullet points are working for all the other products on Amazon, then just using that strategy for books, I think just makes sense. It's always a good idea to just model what is already working. All right, so we can see their book is priced at $7.92. That's nice to see because they're not racing to the bottom. They're a little bit in the middle ground, maybe slightly higher than others. And then here, scrolling down, looking at the bestseller rank charts that we provide with our Titans Quick View Chrome extension, we can see that their bestseller rank is getting slightly worse over the last year. We can see here that last year they had a bestseller rank of 1,000 and 800 and down to 700, and currently they're between 1,000 and 2,000. So definitely still doing really, really well. It's just interesting to see that this book has lost a little bit of traction recently. Then the other thing we can see here is the red graph, which is the reviews. So one year ago, they had 1,500 reviews. And we can see that this has steadily and consistently grown every single month. And currently, they're at 2,100 roughly. And then the other thing we can see here is the price. So listing price and new price, we can see that stayed basically consistent throughout the year. And then scrolling down, so we can see that this was independently published. That's obviously one thing we're always looking for is to, to find books that we can compete with. And the easiest books to compete with is by finding books that are independently published, not by some big publishing house. Now, when looking at a competitor's book, you obviously want to see what you can do that could be better than the other book. So for this case, we can see that this book has 139 pages. So one thing you could do to have more value in your book is make a book that has more pages. And by more pages, I mean having more puzzles and just more things that the person can do and enjoy. So here we can see they made a book that's eight and a half by 11. So that's one thing we can also take inspiration from and use the same size. And then next, let's take a look at this author profile to see what other kinds of books they have done. This is always nice to see, to see if there's some kind of trends or pattern of different kinds of books that they're making, and you can also take inspiration from that. So here we can see that they have published 272 books. So this is also just a good reminder that Amazon KDP is all about being consistent and putting in the work over time. So these guys have been publishing for a long time and they've been doing it consistently. So that's something you always want to keep in mind. KDP is not a get rich quick. It's just not the case. A lot of YouTubers will have clickbaity thumbnails with, you know, 10,000, 100,000, 20,000. And those are like one of a kind type of books. And it's not easy to have these kinds of books. It is much more realistic to have books that get consistent sales, but not necessarily in the thousands or tens of thousands every single month. So that's just one thing to keep in mind, just to have correct estimations. So here, let's just look at their books. We can see they've done word searches, and we can also see that these only have a few reviews, three reviews, 19 reviews, three reviews, no reviews. So it looks like they had one book that really took off, and then they have some books that haven't taken off at all, which is also interesting to see, but it's also kind of realistic. Not every book that you publish, if you're doing low content or medium content books, is going to sell. That is just another fact and a truth that some people don't tell you about, and it's just a reality that is good to know and to think with, so you don't get too disappointed if you create one book and it doesn't get any sales. The whole point with Amazon KDP is to create high quality books, and then continue to do so time and time again, just to build up your portfolio and to have more and more and more books. Most people that do YouTube videos teaching you how to do Amazon KDP, they've published hundreds of books. Most of them have published thousands of books. So just keep that in mind as you continue on your journey. 
All right, so next I want to look at the reviews. Looking at their reviews is also good to see what people like about the book and to see what people didn't like about the book. And then whatever they didn't like about the book, you can also make sure that you avoid doing that to make your book even better than this competitor's book. Here we can see that Amazon has a top critical review. So it says very basic book, minimal if any design, layout, no crosswords, but other puzzles. So from that, we can see that this book has a very plain design. And that's one thing you could consider doing is making a more fancy design for every single page. Maybe you add borders to it or some elements or just something that can be a little bit more fun or interesting. And just get more creative. So that's something we can do to be better than this book. And then now over here, so when we scroll down, we can see all of the reviews. And then one thing you can do is click on all stars and click on critical reviews, and then it'll pull up all the critical ones. So here we can see the same one that we just looked at earlier. All right, so scrolling down at some other ones, here we can see that it says that this book has multiple errors, and here it says Oklahoma puzzle, thunderstorm is missing a line. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're doing puzzle books, you have to be 100% sure that you have all the right puzzles with all the right solutions and everything's matching up perfectly. That is one thing that is actually really easy to make a mistake on and we've done this ourselves. So one thing you can take away from this is always double and triple checking your book. And if you're living with your family or if you have a spouse or someone else you can go to, then you can also have someone else look at the book to get a second opinion and just have a quality control check on your book. Obviously, if your book has mistakes in it, it will get bad reviews. And if you have a bad review right from the beginning, it will stop all of the sales going forward. Because obviously, if your first or second review has is a one-star review, then your average rating will be really, really low, and it will make it really unattractive for people to want to look at or even buy because they can see it has a bad review. So this is something we can also just take away from that. And then here, fun book, but there are some misprints in the puzzles. So once again, someone else noticed that. Then here, the next one, it says pages are very thin. So this is something that can sometimes happen and there's obviously nothing we can do about it. The pages are what they are with Amazon KDP. But one thing you can do if there's a review about the book printing quality itself or if there's some mistake in the book printing itself, you can ask Amazon KDP to remove that review and they might consider it. So it's not a guaranteed thing, but if the review is relating to the printing quality of their book, which is their responsibility, not ours, they might consider taking that off. One time we have had success in removing that, but this is not something common. I'm just mentioning it because one time we did have success in getting a review removed that was due to a printing error and not the actual book itself. All right, so I will just continue doing that. Obviously, you can also look at the top reviews, the positive ones right here to see what people like about the most. And then obviously, whatever they like the most, you would want to do it yourself too and see what you can do to even improve upon that even further. All right, so next we're going to look at our Titans Retro Review tool, which is on selfpublishingtitans.com. And this is just a tool that we have created to help you reverse engineer every single book or product on Amazon. And what it's going to do is attempt to find all of their best ranking and selling keywords that they're either trying to get ranking for or that they are ranking for. So the first one we can see here is Variety Puzzles for Adults. We can see that they're ranked number two for the search results. We can see that the estimated search volume is 3,700. And we can also see the search results, demand and opportunity scores. And then here next one is Puzzle Book for Adults. Then we have Sudoku Puzzle Books for Adults Variety Pack. So the nice thing about puzzle books and activity books is that if you do it right with your title and your subtitle, is that you can rank for many different keywords and sub niches within the puzzle and activity book niches. So we can see that ranking for puzzle books, but also Sudoku books. And the next one here is word and number search puzzles. So another great niche. And then variety puzzles and games, puzzle book, large print puzzles for adults. Large print can also be a really good thing to always look for in different niches to just use that as a keyword to niche down. There's a lot of people in the puzzle and activity book niches that look for large prints book interiors. So that's one thing to keep in mind and always just look out for it and to see if that's something that you can do. Next, we have more large print stuff, then puzzle book for adult variety packs. A variety pack we can see is also being searched for. And we can see the search volume could be lower, but also the competition is quite low. For here, for example, there's only 662 search results. So this is much, much lower compared to this one, for example, that has 42,000. So if you can find tiny sub niches, that can also be really, really good. All right, so next we have more puzzle book for adult variety, puzzle books for adults, variety. So we can see that there's lots of different variations of similar keywords. 
So that is also one thing you can use for your Amazon ads, just having the singular and plural versions. Amazon does say that it can understand singular and plural words and you don't have to include them. But from our experience, there can still be slight differences in performance with your Amazon ads. So it's always worth just trying both versions. So here, for example, we have puzzle book for adults or variety and then puzzle books for adults or variety. So you can use both of those in your Amazon ads and see which one performs better. Next, we have Sudoku book, mazes for adults with dementia. So dementia can also be quite good to niche down into. And obviously they're also ranking for mazes. So that's also really nice to see. And then here, this niche, for example, only has 269 search volume, but also the search results are also only 223, so it's really, really low. So it's just easier to rank in those tiny sub niches. Big book of mazes for adults. Sometimes big book can also be a really good keyword to have in your title. We have also used that in the past. Puzzle books for seniors. Another great thing to look out for is to see what kind of niches seniors are interested in with the puzzle books and activity books. And then here we can see that there's a search volume of 5,900. So puzzle books for seniors is very popular. Here we can see also that the search results are 15 thousand so slightly more competitive so some of you might want to stay away from that and niche down even further but here we can see that our niche scores and opportunity scores have given it a score of five for each of them so there's obviously something good to this niche already so yeah so these are just 25 keywords you can obviously continue scrolling to other pages to find even more keywords but this is just a great tool to get inspiration to reverse engineer them and then use those keywords yourself between your seven backing keywords your title your subtitle and your Amazon ads. And then of course, the keywords you find here, we can also put into Titans Pro, for example. And the way to use that is just to download the Titans Pro Chrome extension and then to start typing into the search bar here. And then it will either pop up automatically or you can just press the space bar and then it will start loading it. And then here you can also see every single search suggestion from Amazon that is related to puzzle books. So this tool is really, really helpful of finding lots of niche ideas really, really fast. And a great thing about this tool is that if you have the pro version for it, you can see the estimated search volume, as well as the search results, the demand scores for every keyword, and then the opportunity score for every keyword. So this is also something you can use for your future books and for your seven backend keywords and your Amazon ads. If you're trying to, for example, do a really big launch, then you obviously want to have a lot of keywords in your Amazon ads. And then here you could download all of them and see which ones are the most relevant and then use those for your exact match keywords, your phrase keywords and your broad matches. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something from it. And then I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.